You know, the city don't take care. They sell the drug, they fighting. Every day is same. Um, at the morning time, 12, 10 to 20 people. At the lunch time, uh, uh, around 100 people. Following complaints from residents and business owners in Montreal's Chinatown about an increase in drug use and crime, a shelter for those unhoused is set to close at the end of October. The city. Uh, need to find a long-term solution, uh, not move them to anywhere and they will come in back. But for those a part of Chinatown, they say that's not enough. They're calling on the city to do more to aid the situation and set concrete solutions. I feel no good, but no, no choice. Uh, no choice. Benny Shiek, owner of Kim Fung, says he's seen the problem for years. Now it's become overbearing and he's not alone. It's chaotic here. Bill Wong, a resident of Chinatown for 16 years, says he's fed up. I think all the residents are scared uh, for the security. And uh, even night, no, nobody wants to walk, uh, walk in nighttime now. For Wong, he believes the closure of the homeless shelter in complex Guy Favreau is the start of the solution. A lot of people have moved out of this complex because of the noise, the disturbance, the vandalism, and I think it's time to put a stop to all that. Ultimately, somebody has to be held accountable. Fo Niemi, who is helping to bring forward the voice of the community, says residents were not consulted about the addition of the homeless shelter during the height of COVID-19. Now the city must do more to take responsibility. These are seniors who were in their 70s and somewhat in the 80s. They have the right to live in peace and to leave in safety. Feeling and knowing that people are scared is not what we want. We've been working with uh, non-for-profit, the police, uh, the SPVM, MS also, social workers, trying to find ways to do medication, making sure that everybody feels safe. Mayor Plant adding that the location for a new shelter would have to be in the same area or maybe just a little further out to not destabilize the vulnerable population and amplify the problem further. Community organizer Winston Winston Chan says while it will take time, more needs to be done to aid the problem in the long run, not just by the city, but also the province. Uh, we need a, a, a coordinated, uh, well-funded uh, action plan to solve this problem, which is uh, which includes uh, mental, uh, mental health crisis, uh, the drug use uh, crisis, and also the, uh, the housing, affordable housing crisis. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.